my my truck really is two things. One, it's a tool. It's a tool for the job that I need to do. And my job is rehabbing houses and in construction. I have a construction company. We run those guys full time. So this is really just a support tool to help make things go more efficient. Um, depending on what level of construction you're doing, how you're running your business, you may not need this exact setup. And depending on how involved you are, if you hire a general contractor for everything, you're probably not gonna need everything that I have in my truck. But mine's set up really to be mobile office because I spend a lot of time in it, running around, looking at houses. I can set my laptop up and work. I don't have a fancy stand or anything, but I got a hotspot on my phone so I can do that from within there. And then on our rental properties and even stuff like this, I've got most everything that I would need to complete a task if it's a 20 to 25 minute task. So if I need to change out a GFI, I've got it. If I need to change out or put a smoke detector in for occupancy, that stuff's in there. And it's, I try to eliminate as many runs to like hardware stores as possible. And that's kind of how we, how I do it. Um, but yeah, so I, I forever had just totes and toolboxes in here, but I most recently switched over to the, the deck system. So just some drawers. Um, I've always had the camper shell on it forever. I was a, not a camper shell guy because, and I still quite honestly, trucks look best without them, but you just can't beat the utility of a camper shell and being able to throw your stuff in here and keep it dry and keep it out of sight, out of mind, which is 99% of, you gonna eliminate 99% of your problems with theft and stuff that shouldn't be going on that is going on. So camper shell for me is the way to go. I've got trailers if I need to move stuff around, which is another point that I have a three quarter ton truck with a diesel. It is because I have big box trailers for hauling supplies and equipment, and then also a dump trailer for supporting my guys and doing work. So I needed something that I could handle those. If you're not doing that kind of stuff, you could probably get away with a half ton or even an SUV. But so this, this system has two drawers and basically it's just set up to carry all of my tools that I would need. So if you're a normal investor or rehabber, the stuff that you're gonna need is probably at minimum, you're gonna get away with just like some kind of good flashlight. It could be a pocket flashlight or whatever, but the brighter, the better. We go into a lot of vacant houses, so you're gonna have that kind of thing. You're gonna have that issue to deal with. Make sure you have plenty of light. That To that point, make sure you're going into houses that are safe, right? If you walk up to a house and you get the hairs on the back of your neck stand up, <laughs> listen to that. And uh, I still remember you and I yes, walking through. And trust oh, that gosh. and know when maybe not to go in or to go get somebody and go with. You. Or you smell body odor when yeah, you walk or you in. You smell bo. Yeah, and, and that kind but of thing. It's, yeah, but no, yeah. yeah. So crazy. the other thing you might want to have is just a, a simple impact with some various bits. Um, I used that yesterday because I had to go with an abatement guy to one of our houses and unscrew some plywood off the door so that we can get access so we can go in and do some testing. I use that. This is probably one of my number one tools in here that I use, and that's just for taking stuff apart, screws and whatnot, and I have other fasteners in here for boarding up properties if something's loose or screwing a door shut for something that's been kicked in or broken or whatever it may be. Um, other than that, it's just miscellaneous drills, reciprocating saws for whacking through stuff that I can do right away to clean things up, um, circular saw, I got a lot of like test tees. This was used yesterday because we had a blow slab plumbing inspection that my plumber couldn't get to. So I was able to go in, stick that in, flood the line just like we did here, fill it up, meet the inspector, pass it, drain it out, good to go. There's four or five of them in here. They're $20 a piece or whatever, so they're worth having for me. Um, there's a toad in the back, and that toad that's all the way up in there, you probably can't see it very well, but that has a bunch of different smoke detectors and carbon monoxide detectors that we need for occupancy. Those are just battery operated ones. Tools of the trade. Yep, so yeah. if we run through and I got tenants move out and I got an occupancy inspector coming, tenants are horrible about pulling down smoke detectors because they beep and then they don't wanna, they don't wanna address why it's beeping. They just yank it off the wall and they throw it in a closet. <laughs> and they're never, so classic. And they're never there to be found again. Yeah. So we, ha we have it written on our lease that if they're missing, it's 50 or $60 when we go back through. So they're gonna pay for it to help prevent that. Um, a tip on rentals for battery occupied ones, you can, or battery sourced ones, you can get 10 year batteries in those. That was a game changer for us so that we're not constantly fighting the battery issue. And that'll help keep tenants from pulling them down too because it's not chirping at 2 a.m., which is when they all start to chirp and go off while you're sleeping. The best is though, the, the best that I see are the people that actually 
they're living in it. It's like they become immune to that chirp, and they yeah. they still walk around the house yep. like it's normal, and yeah, I, that's crazy. Yeah, so that, that tote mm. has uh, smoke carbons and then smoke detectors, both 10-year and regular. If it's a rehab, I'm not spending the extra money. They're getting the one that's going to chirp in six months, so they know to change the battery, and that's <laughs> like this one has that style in it. Yeah. Um, it, I've got batteries in there, nine volt, double A, triple A, that kind of thing, just so we have it. There's some WD-40 spray, random things in there, like some nitrile gloves for getting into nasty houses. Um, up front, lock boxes, miscellaneous tape measures, some random plumbing fittings, and then drill bits and reciprocal saw stuff. This is actually a socket for the, the lug nuts on our trailer so that i can get those off i changed the tire yesterday because run into the dump you pick up nails oh yeah you got to get that stuff changed out i don't have in here but i want to add uh an air compressor onboard air for that kind of thing because it seems like i never have a compressor when i need it so we'll probably add that later on but that is this drawer it's just so nice to be able to have everything that you need and not have it floating around right which is awesome this drawer has miscellaneous tools, so one set up for plumbing, uh, one for electrical. I think this one is plumbing. One thing that if you have rentals or if you're buying properties to keep on demand all the time, shark bite stops. So if you ever have a pipe break and you have these, three quarter and a half inches all you need, and you have a, a kit just simple like this, a pipe tubing cutter, cut it off shove one of those on it'll allow you to get water back on and keep water from leaking in your house those are indispensable for that kind of scenario and then we use them for demo all the time also we keep them in our trailer so the guys have them um, but whenever you go through and you demo out houses a lot of times you're wrecking bathrooms or kitchen and you're cutting the old stops off that are crusty and they won't close anyway so they want to continually drip forever we'll cut them off and i have the guys throw those on until the plumbers get there and then the plumber can address it properly um, and then just normal plumber's putty and pipe thread sealant. There's in the far back, there's some cast iron caps for gas, gas lines that we would have to put on. Um, this was pulled out of another house that we just bought. It was laying there, so I was like, oh, free wire, I'm yeah. taking it. But this has some miscellaneous fasteners and screws. I, I try to use all torques if I'm securing up a house generally torx is one of those bits that people aren't going to have with them readily like a phillips so it makes it that much harder for them to get in yeah plus it's just a bit better it's a better drive on a screw you can get into into a lot better stuff with it um outside of that there's the normal duct tape rags for cleanup breaker bars that was pipe uh cutter this is if you're even a random normal real estate investor you should have one of these yeah wholesalers should have those wholesalers should yeah. have them also this is <laughs> yeah. nothing more than a receptacle tester yeah so what you do with this is you plug it into your receptacle and it'll tell you whether you have an open ground and you can test your gfis just to make sure that everything's working i've two been a prong, victim of that a million times two prong outlets you buy the little adapter and you keep it on that way you can plug it in and make sure the polarity is right um neighbor's about to pull in so she'll be she'll be fine she can listen to what we're talking about. We yeah. can this side of the truck. Yeah. yeah. Outside of that, just normal tools. Electrical stuff, wire nuts to make things safe. That kind of thing. Big light. Use that for um, our inspection that we had. Like a lot of the houses, we don't have power. So yeah. that one that we oh, were at yeah. yesterday didn't. So I set that up in the basement for the inspector so he can see everything. He's not walking around with a flashlight, which makes it really nice. Um, if you get one of these, camper shell, these are key. Side Golden side access. Doors. Yeah. yeah, to be actually I have to be able to get in here and do your thing. That's so that, yeah. that makes it worthwhile. Um, if it'd be so hard to get in and out and get your stuff if you didn't have this. Yeah. And they don't make they make them in all kinds of different styles. Yeah. Good deal. Getting on to why we do this, all the all the national parks that my wife and I have been to. So we like to travel all over the place and yeah, go to parks awesome. and be adventurous. So I've seen this thing decked out in pictures yeah. with uh, tents and or what yeah. your your big uh, your big sleeping yep. system on it and everything. Yeah, the yep. tent that used to be on it. Yep. Um, I got a bike pump in here. I was using that for the the ball plug to plug it up, so we stop the pipes, we can flood it and do our test. But usually it's in here for mountain biking and that kind of thing. Random Home Depot bucket. It's got some normal stuff and then uh, fixtures for one of our other rehab. Those are in there because I had to steal the 
the valves and stuff out of them. The inside the cab, you can jump over there, Jeff. There's, I've got some maintenance to do. I got to change out light bulbs and wipers on my truck because it's been a while, but that's in here. Um, there's a paint, Sherwin-Williams paint uh, chart that I can whip through and if I need to match colors or random you things. You only need one. You only I only need, need one. Watch. I only need a green <laughs> gray. But ran, like, randomly we'll have garage doors that are brown or some other random oh, color yeah. that we got to test. So that helps to try and match as close as we can. So that's in there. That kind of comes and goes. Helmet, our hard hat and vest for the dump, pulling the dump trailer, that sits in the back. There's a flat pack that just has all my mountain bike stuff in it. Helmet, gloves, random things, mountain bike shoes. Under the under the seat, um, kind of just more dry safety stuff. So earplugs, guys, I'm constantly giving those to my guys, making sure they're wearing them. N95 mask, I haven't been able to find those for a year and I just found them today. So I bought two big packs. So the guys need those. It wouldn't be a bad idea for you guys if you're looking at houses to pick up some of those. You get into some really nasty ones and those help. If you have a little thing of Vaseline and you put one of those on and you put a little touch of Vaseline on the inside for those particularly stinky houses, that really helps too. Really? Vaseline? Yep. Never knew yep. that. Yep. It, it just helps mask the odor. Because Vaseline's so strong and it's right there. You probably yeah. won't want to use that mask again, but it'll at least help. Yeah. Um, LED flares random sockets gloves caution tape so if i if we have a particularly nasty backyard and i'm meeting with my tree guys i will take this and i will flag the trees and the bushes and the brush and the other stuff that needs to go so that they know and there's no confusion what needs to be cut out similarly with demo which i don't have in here i need to get another can is some orange paint like when you go through a house and you're trying to work with your demo guy on what gets cleaned out We'll go through with an orange can of marking paint and I'll paint everything that needs to go. I'll still give them a list and a scope, but that helps make it a little bit more clear. In the door, I've got a big fat Sharpie marker that I use also to write on walls and mark locations. Um, behind the seat, Gore-Tex rain jacket. For days like today when it's mm -hmm. real nasty, that stays in there. I got a fleece blanket and then I've got a tire plug kit for trailer tires use that quite a few times just to help patch flats so i don't have to change stairs um, all right so i think and... i think we get that you are stuff. incredibly you're Dude, you're either i've got so much stuff and i've been doing this for so long <laughs> you haven't even hit the front <laughs> yeah. there's oh other side of the back seat is a full uh like a really big first aid kit which no, that's that doubles down that's for myself when i'm out being adventurous but then also for yeah when i'm on site for yep. guys um there's not m a whole lot up here gloves you're gonna want the pair of these if yeah i love this, this i love the, the lambskin yeah it's like we all like different ones i buy these all the time i like the mechanics they just work good and i don't mm -hmm. mind getting them dirty they're easy to find the big sharpie that helps yeah for marking stuff tire pressure gauge and whatnot on the back side of that seat in the map pocket, uh, you can get these printed up. We've had these for quite a while. Door hangers. So if you're running around and you see a house that's obviously vacant or pretty nasty and you're in a neighborhood like this, make a quick pit stop and drop a door hanger on it and get some phone calls. Yeah, 100%. I always put a sign in my in the yard. Yeah, you know, I, we need to get some. We have some. I just haven't been religious about putting them out and i yeah. really should be it's weird i um it's it's i think per per capita if we're talking about you know if we're talking about signs bandit signs per capita i've had more people respond off of my rehabs yeah. than any other it's crazy yeah you know? and you have to be careful what you're doing too because it can be depending on the area it can be a target yeah because people look at it like oh that house is under construction there's probably tools in it and i'm gonna break in and get it yeah you that and your dumpsters line. always get filled up and all and that good. A last load i had out of here there was a couch in there that yeah. didn't belong and it's that's just how it is yeah. um part of the game laser tape oh that's, that stays in there yeah key. like i don't use that for construction mm -hmm. but when it comes time to list a house you need room dimensions and sizes so if you can just go through and blast and hit it yeah or if we need to order baseboard or whatever i can go around and shoot and just do quick averages we won't dive in the center council but 
Uh, you probably keep this in your center console because you're an outdoorsy guy like me. Nice roll of toilet paper just in case <laughs> you're out somewhere. Um, other than that, just normal stuff. Yeah, yeah he, you're in. Uh... You're in a little nicer neighborhoods than I am too. So yeah, there's, there's always something I carry as well. I don't yeah. generally try to anyway. And we usually, like depending on the house, we'll either have a toilet set up inside for the guys to use or there'll be a Johnny. So yeah. it's typically there. But you also don't want to use the, the tissue paper that they put on the Johnny <laughs> on the spot. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's it's just the tool, guys. I, yeah. I spend a lot of time. This thing's five like five years and four months old and I've got 140,000 miles on it. So we spend a lot of time driving around looking at properties. That's your rolling office. It's, it, it really is. Oh, and uh, the binder. All right, good look at this so binder. That one's actually from my other house, but that's it's got a permit in there because we've been working so hard and I won't flip through everything, but it's got the drawings and some minor invoices in it. and. It's got a table of contents, so everything's just everything's broken out, and that's probably a topic for another time. Jeff and I can do a deep dive into that, which yeah. I think we will. So everything is in there in one spot. I, I carry it around with me, or I have it at the office, so if I have questions, I can flip it open, and then the guys will get a version of it that's not the full version because I don't need subcontracts of every contractor within the binder that I keep on site. All right. that financial stuff's kept in. Yeah. In the one that I have, or electronically at least. So. Good deal, man. Well, you are definitely put together when it comes to this stuff a lot. I mean, I've I've done my share of uh, share of work, but I'm nowhere near organized the way that this is. So it, this it is wasn't a fantastic always that way. Man. Like yeah. I said, evolution, not revolution, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, it's, You just, you learn what you need and you start to pay attention on what you carry on a daily basis. and. Honestly, the most, you start to realize what you don't have with you when you do need it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's what really comes down All to All of those trips back yeah. and forth to Home Depot. Yeah. Yep. So I, even random stuff, like I need to pick up a couple anti-tip brackets for stoves. Mm -hmm. that, that's another one that always pops up on occupancy. So yeah. have a couple in there, whether I need it when I'm doing it or whether like the guys need to put one in while they're at a job. It'll save us a trip to the store or an order. Hey, here's one I already got. So right. take it, put it in, and I'll replace it later. Good deal, man. Well, I'm going to wrap this up. I appreciate you taking the time. Yeah. It's been a pleasure. I, you know I love I talking real estate. Yeah, I, I learn something from you every single time we talk, so <laughs> I really appreciate it. Good. Signing off, guys. We will catch you later. Yep. Uh, wait Have by a good one, guys. Get out there and make offers. There you go.